Hey guys, today we're talking about Unity Remote 5 because I've been getting a lot of comments and direct messages from viewers and subscribers saying they are struggling with Unity Remote 5 not working on Android devices. So it seems there hasn't been a lot of issues in terms of iOS, but Android there's some major issues which people are struggling with. So I'm going to just go through the various things I check and make sure of to get my Unity Remote 5 working every time. So guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe now, hit that notification bell to get more tutorials in future. And please do stick around to the end of the video where I'll be giving a bonus tip on what else you can try if your Unity Remote 5 is still not working. So let's jump into this. The very first thing I will check is I would go into File, Build Settings. I'll make sure I've got this clicked on Android and I would switch my platform. So I've already switched my platform. Usually there would be a button here which will allow you to switch your platform. Go ahead and make sure you switch your platform, platform to Android. And then the very next thing you need to do after that is done is go into player settings, go into your editor and make sure you've got any Android device selected. So this is just going to allow uh, Unity to pick up any Android device and then deploy to that device. And the next thing you need to make sure of is if your NDKs and SDKs are installed correctly. So to do that, just go over to edit and look at preferences. So if it is done correctly, you'll have this JDK installed with Unity recommended. Uh, checked over here, you'll have Android NDK installed with Unity recommended as well, as well as the SDK. So if you've installed Android Studio, you might not have this. So then your Unity is going to struggle to pick up the correct JDKs and NDKs to use. So to fix this, what you can do is you can close this out to go into Unity Hub. So let's just open up Unity Hub. And then I can show you what you need to do there. Because there's a little bit of a trick to it because it's a little bit obfuscated from view. So what you want to do in Unity Hub is go over to installs. You want to click on these three dots, add modules. And as you'll see is you would usually just check this to get Android build support, but it will be hi hiding these two options as well. So do make sure that you click this uh, little drop down and check these two boxes and hit done to install the native JDKs and SDKs and NDKs that Unity uses. Close that up. And then the next thing you want to make sure of is that you've got your USB driver installed correctly. So you want to open up Android Studio. You want to go over to your SDK manager over here. And in Android SDK, you want to click on SDK tools. You want to make sure that Google USB driver is checked and installed. I often find that this is the biggest issue is that the USB driver is not installed and then Unity can't communicate with your device. So make sure that is checked and installed. So that's everything you need in terms of your PC configuration or your Mac configuration to talk to your mobile device. So the very next thing is I want to show you a blog post that I wrote uh, regarding Unity Remote 5. So what you need to do is if you haven't uh, enabled developer options on your mobile device yet, you want to go into settings, you want to click on about phone and you'll see a build number there, which you need to tap seven times to enable developer options. Then once you're, you've got developer options enabled, you want to open that up and you want to enable USB debugging. So at this point, you should have Unity Remote 5 working, but here we go. This is the bonus tip. If you have still not been able to get it working at this point, then definitely you need to check this out. Uh, besides now opening Unity Remote 5, that's not the bonus tip. The bonus tip is that you need to go ahead and use PTP support on your mobile device. So instead of using USB mode, use camera PTP. This will allow you to 
stream your Unity remote to your device as if it is a, a camera image or just a data stream image. So definitely try that if you are still struggling with Unity Remote 5. So guys, that's basically the end of this uh, tutorial. If you're still struggling, you can always check out my blog post. It is a little bit more detailed than this video tutorial. And you might actually find something here to help you. So okay, thanks guys for watching. If you like this video, please do like below. Subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.